Hello everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about goats and copper and um, why our, how we know that our goats need copper. Um, yesterday we lost a little baby goat. Um, one of our does had a miscarriage. Um, and so that sent us on the world of wind of trying to figure out what was going on. And I'll show you what we found. You can really see the copper deficiency here because she is a black goat, but her black is starting to fade to kind of a more red color, mm -hmm. and her tail is split. They call it a fish tail. I'll zoom in there. We got two eggs. Abby yeah. just went out. The, <gasps> this one was, Oh, yuck. was on the ground. Huh? Where on the ground? Um, in the chicken coop. Really? Mm-hmm. And... This one was in a nesting box. Well, I'm glad the nesting box is cleaner than the ground. Gross. <laughs> hey, Abby, we're not going to keep that dirty, dirty one, okay? Okay. Huh? Do you know what we're going to do with it? Feed it to Jane with the pig? Yeah, that's nasty. Hey, everybody. I didn't do the morning chores. Well, I, I did the morning chores. I just didn't video it because I was feeling pretty sick and I was running low on time. So, sorry I didn't get that. Um, Abby actually put the chickens out for me and... Um, to cure the rabbits, but uh, I'm on a mission to save our goats now because they're very low on copper, and the reason why they're low on copper is because we've been giving them alfalfa, and alfalfa in large amounts reduces, has something in it, and my wife will put it in the in the video. So, um, Diane, you so we need to replenish that. So I got them some spinach. And it is, it is a world of good for Papa, so maybe it'll do a world of good for them too. So let's see how they how they like it. And they seem to be enjoying it and liking it a lot, so that's very good. And as we all know, eating greens is a special treat. It makes long ears and great big feet. <laughs> but it sure is awful stuff to eat. That's from Bambi. This is very high in copper, and that's what we're trying to replace. Why is it so fuzzy? There we go. So, I'm going to give them as much as they can eat. Three bags ought to be good. I'm going to open and give them the second bag. But as you can see, the coats of the girls are looking pretty, pretty ratty, I should just say. And, um, we can have that in her tail here. But this spinach is very high in copper, which is what they need to replace. So, we have some copper supplement on its way. But this will do until it actually comes here. It's three bags of spinach. We made a mistake yesterday and we gave them dewormer. Found out today, you're not supposed to give pregnant goats dewormer. I'm sorry girls, we're learning. I just wish it wasn't at your, it wasn't at your expense. We're doing the best we can. Bear with us. You still got some spinach left. I kind of want you to finish that. Yeah, come on, come on back, Hope. You probably need it the most out of all three of them. Got all that over there. Yeah, Gilbert, you probably need some too. Will you let me hand feed you? Yes, he will. Yeah. Good grief. I pour a whole thing of greens and you want the bag? That's just like a goat. How many? There you go. Good girl. Eat all that up. Hopefully they'll perk up after this. 
I mean, they're they're all eating and they're all drinking, which is a good sign. Yeah, it's a good sign. I want to try to take the best care of my animals possible and give them a happy life here on the farm. Sometimes it feels like you're 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 doing the best you can, but you you still fail. You know, kind of a defeating feeling. That's what farming is, I guess. I mean, along with anything you do in life, lots of disappointments and setbacks, but you you find a way around it. That's your bedding. You sleep on that, Hope. Do you know how disgusting that is? Yeah. Yeah, you know it's disgusting. Here, have have another green. Okay, or don't. Come here, you, you like it. You like these. There you go. Good girl. Good girl, yes. Who's my good goat? Who's my good goat? Are you a good goat? See, I'm a good goat. Yes, you are. There, she's getting some of the fill on the ground here. I'm going to put down some more straw for you guys. I don't blame you. I know you trample it down. Okay. Let's go check on those pigs now. There's Mr. Fit Piggy's food. Oh, my word. I had a worm in my pocket. A worm in your pocket? Let me see. Well, either give it to the chickens or put it in the garden. The garden? Like in here? Yeah. Okay, can I... Can I keep it as a pet? <laughs> no. Uh, not, not not in the house, okay? Okay. You, you, you get a big pile of dirt for it and put it in there and start your own little worm farm. Uh, but um, I'll need... Um, to give it some water every once in a while. And I think it just, I think it lives off the moisture in the soil, but yeah, get, get, if you might, let me go feed Mr. Pig before he decides to break through the fence. Okay, uh, I'll use that thing over at the chickens. Okay. You're welcome. A worm farm is a thing, right? Oh, good grief, it's like a swampland. I can't even get around because it's so muddy and I want to put it in a spot you haven't plowed up yet. Hang on, big guy. Let me get around. You're going to get frustrated here in a second, aren't you? Ugh. Here's a good spot. Right over here. There you go. I think tomorrow morning I'm going to walk all the way over there and put his food over there. That, that ground really needs to be worked on a lot more. I uh, accidentally turned off the video. He couldn't find his food because I think some of that corn and feed got in his eye. I'm sorry, Mr. Pig, but it's going to happen when you stand in front of the bucket every single time. Wow, is he big. I don't know. It. You guys may get tired of me saying that, but... It, it just always takes me by surprise when you see just how enormous he is. And looks big, much bigger in person than on camera. There's the water bowl. There's the path I have to take to get it. 
Okay, let's try this. No, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to try to go around and get into some more stable mud. Okay, let's see. Maybe go around this way. Look a little bit of a drier spot. Nope. Nope, not dry. Good grief. I tell you what, if any of you guys are into mud and you could come on down here. You know what I forgot? Yeah. Yeah, the water's over there. I didn't think that through so well, did I? Alright, I'll just take this with me, uh, and I'll put it, oh, oh, whoa, 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 almost lost my phone there, alright, that's a little bit of a drier spot, now I'll go get the water, yeah, <sighs> Okay, I'm going to have to turn this off when I pour it because I just can't do both at the same time. Let's go see Abby's dirt farm. So, this one's tiny as you can see. Mm -hmm. So, they're all in different places. That way they don't get too clustered together and uh -huh. maybe die on accident. So... We'll, we'll see what happens. I, I might make some good dirt and you can change out their dirt. Because when a worm is in dirt, it produces even better dirt. Alright, let's get the ducks inside for the Do night. You want one? Uh, no thanks. Okay. If I'm going to set a worm, I'm going to be fishing. Oh no. Your little enclosure fell down. Now this is a first. The Ice of Browns are roosting alongside the Icelandics. Three roosters are out because they were being bullies. Uh, we're going to harvest some of the roosters, probably the ones that are outside. Uh, George here, he's saying because he's very uh, protective of the other chicks. Mm -hmm. And if there's a fight going, he, he'll break it up. But he never attacks any rooster, so. And he's protective of his ladies, so. He stays. This one, uh, I think that's Fred. I'm not sure, so, so sure about him. I've never really observed him on the other chickens. I know he does get into fights sometimes. So, yeah. Enjoy your new roosting spot. Of course... I can't, I don't know if I'm going to keep the roosters out every night though. The main reason why I am is because the ducks get picked on more than anybody else. And uh, if I had it my way, they'd really have their own enclosure. And I don't know, I'd like to have a few more ducks. Maybe two more ducks. We'll see. Abby already collected the eggs for the day, so we had two. So, that's more than we had in months. Most time it's just one. Guys, please don't knock that down. You crush all our baby chicks. I have it to where they can they can get out if they want to. So, all right. <sighs> 